Uh, well, first, uh, welcome to Women's TV Liberia. We are uh, here at the uh, National Elections Commission headquarters in uh, Morovia, uh, ahead of uh, the daily press briefing. And I'm here with Lazuta Ability. Ability, uh, welcome. Yeah, so guys, keep up there. We are just our hour tour, and it's a regular press briefing. And we urge you guys to please follow our life, please share, and keep following us for more information. Stay tuned, we are about to bring you the full press conference very soon. Uh, okay, so uh, as we uh, anticipate the arrival of our, the chairperson of the National Relations Commission, the uh, Diverta Brown. Lassanen, uh, the chairperson and co-chair of the National Relations Commission. We hope to uh, bring you the press briefing. My, the press briefing is part of our, the exercise, uh, exercises uh, leading to uh, the uh, announcement of our winners of, from the 2023 National, uh, that's 2023 presidential and legislative elections, and those are processes that are leading to uh, the, the announcement of uh, winners from the 2023 Amen. elections. So, as part of that, uh, the NEC uh, regularly brief the Liberian population international partners, uh, international reserve, the, the European Union, the city embassy, the United States of America, and all other, uh, all other uh, uh, observers who are part of our, uh, who have come to observe the election that we have by the African Union election observer team also in Liberia, we have our uh, Equus in Liberia. We also have uh, others observers from various uh, African countries, European countries, and other part of the world. As part of making sure that the election process is very peaceful, fair, transparent, and that the process meet up with uh, international standard as a provider here. So my name is Jeremiah Saki Cooper, and I'm here with Lazuta Ability. So very soon we hope to bring you more, more information as it relates to uh, today's press briefing. Um, I you yesterday was the day two, and today is going to be the day three of the press briefing, and we hope to bring you statistics from. Yesterday press briefing, uh, we hope to bring you statistics from yesterday press briefing on yesterday from from, from the angle of our, the uh, presidency, that's the presidential election, uh, which which took place on yesterday, and there were couples of our uh, couples of uh, results that came out on yesterday. Uh, ranging from the Senate, the representative, and the president. And on today, we hope to uh, get more preliminary results uh, from the National Elections Commission as part of their activities. So, a part of uh, the, 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 the uh, those results that were announced on yesterday, we have. Uh, a uh, couple of them here. Uh, Next, yesterday, we have our uh, ambassador Joseph Newman Bakait, former vice president of the Republic of Liberia, from the Unity Party, and ambassador Bakait. Uh, on yesterday, the total vote he was able to uh, to receive, as per the report from the National Election Commission, is a. Uh, 57,862 votes uh, constituting or amounting to uh, 46 
0.27 percent of uh, the total votes uh, for the unity party and uh, President George Weir of uh, the Coalition for Democratic Change that's the CDC uh, was able to receive uh, 49,510 votes uh, constituting 39.6 percent of the total vote uh, uh, total amount of vote released yesterday as per the National Elections Commission result and we have uh, Taiwan Gonglu, Taiwan C Gonglu of the Liberian People's Party, and Taiwan Gonglu uh, was able to receive 4,483 votes, uh, constituting 3.59%. Uh, and he came third, he came third on the list. Uh, so let's see if we can bring you uh, some of those uh, per county as to which one of uh, those counties were able to. Uh, let's see. Okay. Uh, so for Bombing County, this is the breakdown for uh, counties at the county's level. For Bombing, we have uh, uh, polling places, the total number of polling places for Bombing County. Uh, released yesterday was 33 out of 171 so 33 out of 171 polling places uh, results were released by the National Elections Commission on yesterday for the presidential election and this constitute 19.33 percent uh, of the total polling places in Birmingham County we we'll have the UP, that's the Unity Party, a former uh, Vice President of the Republic of Liberia, Ambassador Joseph Nyman uh The UP uh, received 5,555 votes, uh, constituting 58.53%. And the CDC of President George Manawia. I uh, was able to receive 3,152 votes, constituting 33.21% of the total votes uh, counted so far in Bombing County. And the next county here is Bong, Bong County. And the total number of polling places uh, that NEC have been able to capture so far is 45 out of 555 polling places and, and this constitute 8.11 percent of the total polling places in Bong County and the Unity Party was able to receive 6,606 votes uh, constituting 44.72 percent of the total vote cast, uh, that's not the total, yes, the total vote cast uh, that have been revealed or released by the National Elections Commission. And the CDC of President George Weir received uh, 5,772 votes, uh, constituting 39.07% or uh, 45 polling places out of 55 out of 555 polling places so far uh, released by the National Elections Commission and we have Grand Basel County uh, Grand Basel County uh, 27 polling places out of 405 polling places results have been released so far and out of that we have the CDC of President George Weir receiving uh, 3,224 votes, uh, amounting to 42.04% uh, 42 of uh, 27,000 polling places so far in Grand Vassar County. And we have the UP coming second to the CDC, and they were able to receive uh, 2,801 votes uh, 
constituting 36.24 percent of the total votes uh that's the total polling places so far that have been released uh, 27 out of 405 polling places for Grand Vassar County. And we have Grand Coup County. Uh, four polling places results have been released so far out of 110, constituting 3.64% of the total polling places in Grand Coup County. And the CDC of President George Weir was able to receive uh, 1,000. Uh, two votes uh, constituting 86.01 percent, and followed by the Unity Party of former uh, Vice President Joseph Newman Boakai, who received 61 votes constituting 5.24 percent of the total polling places that have been released, which is four polling places out of 110. And the next county here is Lofa County. Lofa County, uh, 25 polling places results have been released by, provisional results have been released by the National Elections Commission. And out of the 25 uh, polling places, that's 25 polling places out of the 424 uh, polling places. And out of that, the Unity Party of former Vice President Boakai received 3,550 votes, uh, constituting 49.36%, followed by the CDC, who received 1,999 votes, constituting 27.79%. Uh, so far in Lofa County, and the next county uh, is Magibi County, and these are results that have been released so far during the uh, National Elections Commission regular press uh, briefing, uh, day two, and to the March the day three, and we are here at the headquarters of the National Elections Commission in Morovia. Uh, so for Magibi County. 27, 27 uh, out of 441 polling places, a provisional results have been released so far, and this amount to 6.12 percent. And out of that, the United Party of Joseph Nyaman Boakai uh, received 4,131 votes. Uh, this is equivalent to 52.21% and the CDC of President George Weir was able to receive uh, 2,987 uh, votes uh, amounting to 37.75% and the next county is Mosvara County which is the largest and richest vote uh, I have the largest number of votes rather in in, in, in Liberia, a higher number of voters in Liberia. And uh, they have, so far, the National Election Commission have released uh, 82 out of 2008. So you see international reserves are arriving. Uh, we have in, uh, international reserves uh, arriving here in making sure that. Okay, so. We are trying to handle the camera, the camera well. Uh, so the we have 82, 82 polling places results have been released so far by the National Elections Commission out of uh, out of 2008 polling places, and this. Uh, results for Mosserello County, the CDC, uh, the CDC of our uh, President George Weir uh, was able to receive 14,545 votes, uh, amounting to 48.39%, followed by the Unity Party, 
the Unity Party of uh, former Vice President Joseph Newman Boakai, uh, who received 4,220 votes. Uh, sorry, not 4,000, but 13,896 uh, for Mozilla County. And this uh, was this equivalent to 37.75 percent. And uh, sorry, not 46.3 uh, percent of uh, votes received so far by the Unity Party in Mozilla County. And this is followed by Nima County. Uh, Nima County, we have 68 polling places. Uh, results that have been released so far out of uh, uh, the 736 polling places. Uh, that's the total number of polling places in um, Mosurado County. And uh, this, uh, we have the Unity Party receiving 11,930 votes. The Unity Party receiving 11,930 votes. Uh, equivalent to 34.91 percent of the total votes in uh, Nima County so far being released, and uh, the CDC of President George Weir uh, received 4,220 votes, uh, constituting 19.42 percent of the total vote uh, received or uh, released so far in Nima County. And the next county here is River Cells County, and the polling places so far that have been released is 19 out of 105 polling places. 19 out of 105 polling places, and this is equivalent to 18.10% of the total uh, polling places that have been uh, released so far by the National Elections Commission. And out of uh, this, uh, the CDC of President George Weir was able to receive uh, 2,852 votes, constituting 52.33% of the total votes uh, released so far in River Cells County. And the UP, that's the Unity Party of former uh, Vice President Joseph Wakai, uh, we have a rival of uh, the European Union election observation mission uh, who have just arrived uh, and making sure that they form part of our the DD press briefing here at the National Elections Commission. In my view there were preliminary funding made by the European Union on yesterday and some of those funding have to do with um, a high increase of violence against women in participating in elections and those were issues that were flagged on yesterday as part of uh, those preliminary funding from NEC, we also have the issue of uh, the state radio uh, being biased in reporting uh, information. And according to the European Union, the state radio have been involved in uh, promoting a government and making the uh, report one side, and we are balancing it. And other thing further about. Uh, a campaign financing. Uh, there were issues of campaign financing, and uh, uh, those are issues that were, some of the issues that were flagged by the uh, European Union Observation Mission, that's election observation mission in Liberia, and they promised to release the fund, uh, fund uh, funding from the 2023 general elections in two months' time. So those are things that. Uh, that we think that you should be informed. Uh, so we go to Sano County. Sano County is the uh, county next, and we have the total uh, number of polling places is 16 out of 152 polling places. 16 out of 152 polling places uh, of our. Uh, uh, Sano County and I have 30.3 percent, uh, and we have the CDC of President George Weir uh, receiving 3,839 
3,839 votes so far and this is equivalent to 75.81 percent and we have uh, the unity party a former vice president uh, joseph yuman buakai uh, receiving 745 votes uh, equivalent to 14.71 percent of the total vote from uh, sano county released so far by the national elections commission and we have uh, bapulu that's river Sales county river Sales county was able to receive uh, the CDC were able to receive 1,321 uh, and this is equivalent to 64.10% uh, and we have the UP uh, which are able to receive 408 votes equivalent to 23.29% uh, and we also have Bapuru County have 40 polling places out of uh, 134 and this is equivalent to 29.83 percent of the total uh, polling places released so far and the UP received 6,122 uh, equivalent to 49.30 percent have the CDC 4,472 uh, 572 constituting 36.82% uh, uh, so far votes released uh, so uh, uh, so we we take a stroke to the conference hall uh, we will move uh, to uh, the conference hall as the elections is expected uh, election as the National Elections Commission regular press briefings expected to start. And so uh, we gonna carry you the entrance uh, that's the, 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 the conference hall. Uh, so we let's take it through uh, so you can see how far and how is the setup being done. Here for the regular press briefing. This is Wimmy TV Liberia. We are live from the headquarters of the National Elections Commission, and we hope that in time to come to bring you full coverage of major happening. Right, so, this is the conference hall. This is the conference hall as we anticipate. And this is the conference hall here. And we. <laughs> <laughs> and so you see, international reservoir are all here. I'm making sure that. They form a part of uh, the activities here. We have uh, an international reserve, the, the National Civil Society uh, Council of Liberia, which is a local a national civil society organization. Reserve. We have uh, the ECC, uh, that's the Election uh, Coordinating Committee or server. We also have uh, Airquad, and we have. Uh, the European Union and have uh, a CSO, CSO Human Rights Network and other people are here. We have other people who are here and regional observers from various African countries within West Africa and uh, we have uh, members of the EU and we have uh, uh, members from the American Embassy and the Sudi Embassy, all other international partners who have come to us here, uh, the election in Liberia. So this is the entire press uh, conference hall here. 
the National Elections Commission of Liberia headquarters, and uh, you can see that uh, the media are doing setup in making sure that uh, they provide services to you and you have an uh, election observer from Leave no one behind. Uh, and those which organizations that uh, where they are also here and making sure that you uh, in making sure that there is a peaceful election, a transparent election, a fair election in Liberia. Uh, so this is the entire hall. Uh, this is the entire hall. And this is it. And this is it. And this is it. Sorry, sorry. And this. Tom is one of the best things that uh, have not been us yet so far by the National Relations Commission. And yesterday there was uh, a delay in time, and today uh, the expected time for uh, the press briefing to start was uh, was by 4:30 and. Currently, we have 4:48. 4:48. Current time in Liberia. And the briefing was to start by 4:30, but yet uh, the process has not uh, uh, begun. So we are still hoping that uh, we are still hoping. That this process begins very soon. Uh, we are still hoping that the process begins soon because uh, we are yet to see the arrival of uh, uh, the commission, commissioner of the National Legends Commission, that's the chair, the director Brown Wasala, and her co commissioners. Uh, so uh, we are yet. 
to see the arrival here. But the international reserve, local and national reserve are all here and making sure that uh, they form part of uh, the regular press briefing. And they are waiting for uh, the uh, arrival of they are waiting for the arrival of the commissioners from the National Reserve Commission. So you can see the International Reserve are here. And if you look at the seats of the commissioners, which is uh, just behind here. So the seats are all empty. Uh, the seats are all empty. The seats for the commissioners are all empty. And if you look at the international level here, they are seated. Good afternoon. Good afternoon to all. We beg your indulgence, they have asked you to ask you to be with them that within the next 15 minutes they will be in the hall. Thank you very much, please. Uh, so there was an announcement made by the population uh, pressing at the National Investments Commission and the they are saying that in the next 15 minutes, uh, we're going to receive the commissioners and the National Relations Commission entering uh, the war and that's uh, the conference hall here in the next 15 minutes. Uh, so we are still here hoping that uh, they can leave up to that time. So these are all international reserve, local and national reserve, regional reserve from all part of uh, the world who are watching the process here. And they are seated waiting for uh, the process uh, to begin. of the press briefing, and we hope that uh, you will stay with us as you continue to provide more information. So you see, international server I seated uh, waiting for the commissioners of the National Association to arrive and begin the process. So, my name is Jeremiah Saki Kuta, and we are coming to you live from the headquarters of the National Elections Commission.
your anticipation? So what do you make of uh, the thirty percent general quota that were being signed by the Liberian Senate and also a uh, memorandum of understanding for thirty percent of women in the electoral process by the National Election Commission and political parties? And even the political parties that signed, they are not even led by it, how little. So what do you make of that? Um, I think people need to be political parties need to be intentional when it comes to women representation. They need to be really intentional. Okay, thank you so much for talking to us. She's the executive director. So you listen to her there, uh, calling for the participation of more women. And the process, so we just received uh, the arrival of uh, the, the chairperson of the National Relations Commission, uh, by the Red of Brown Lassana, uh, and uh, she's been assisted by her uh, co-commissioners. George, please come to the bed and put the marble. So, come to the camera. Come to the arrival of uh, the chief president of the National Relations Commission and co chair. Uh, they are all here. And, uh, some of them are still on their way, but for now we have four uh, commissioners that the chair president and her uh, co they are all here. Distance in the game with the lens, we will break in the bottom field. I even say, I can go to the temperature.
National Elections Commission, Madam Chairperson, Madam Co-Chairperson, and members of the Board of Commissioners, Ambassador, here present, international and local observation missions here present, stakeholders of the National Elections Commission, friends, partners, the Secretariat of the National Elections Commission, members of the Fourth Estate, we to once again welcome you to the compound of the National Elections Commission and welcome you to this daily press briefing from the 2023 general elections in Liberia. Madame David Eto Brown Lansanan is the chairperson of the National Elections Commission and she will start the briefing now. Hello. Madam Co Chair and fellow commissioners, distinguished stakeholders, fellow Liberians, members of the press, ladies and gentlemen. I welcome you to the headquarters of the National Elections Commission and to the Commission's daily press briefings. Members of the press, the Commission is pleased to inform Liberians that polling was conducted in outstanding precincts in Sino County yesterday, 12 October 2023, completing the conduct of elections in all 81 precincts in Sino County. With respect to the situation at the precinct Dio Lotto Public School with precinct code 33258 in Electoral District 4 in Bar County, which comprises two polling places. The election magistrate of Upper Limba has reported that representative ballot boxes at the two polling places were stolen by unknown men. The ballot boxes were sealed and contained representative votes cast on 10 October 2023. The remaining four ballot boxes for the president and senate for the two polling places remain intact. Suspects are being arrested by the police who are expected to conduct an investigation. Ladies and gentlemen, as the tally process continues, the Commission continues to face challenges with the actions of some of the representatives of political parties and candidates who are intermittently disrupting the process whenever they disagree on any issue. This is causing the Commission and the nation valuable time and creating unnecessary tension at the Monserrado County Tally Center. As a result of these disruptive attitudes, the Commission lost more than three hours yesterday and today the process was halted for another two hours. The Commission calls on all political parties and candidates to ensure that their representatives at the Tally Center remain civil and make use of the law by documenting whatever complaint they may have using the complaint form that is available at the Tally Center. Meanwhile, the Commission has decided that beginning tomorrow, 14 October, the tally of votes at the Summer Canyon Dose Sports Complex will begin at 8 in the morning daily. All accredited representatives of political parties and candidates are urged to be seated before 8 in the morning to avoid the repeat of the disruptions that have occurred for the past two days. Members of the press, ladies and gentlemen, the following are the tallied results from the magisterial offices across the country to date. So I will begin with the presidential results, followed by my colleagues who will be presenting senatorial and representative results. You will bear with me, with all of us, because it's long today.
Welcome. Um, 60, we, we do now Bombing County. 61 polling places. Of a total of 171 polling places constituting 35.67%. Walker Joseph N. UP, 8,769 votes obtained, constituting 51.77% of valid votes. We are George Manning, CDC, votes obtained 6,471 constituting valid votes 38.20%. Alberton Jr. Edward W. G. D. M. Votes obtained 386. Valid votes constitute 2.28%. And that was the reading of the votes in Wyoming County. In Bong County, Boyka Joseph N. U. P. Votes obtained 22,224, constituting 43.23%. We are George Manet, C. D. C. Votes obtained 21,997, constituting 42.79%. Kamara Senior Lucini F. Alcom. Votes obtained 1,5060, constituting valid votes 3.03%. Those were the votes for Bond County. And now read the votes in Babulu. 96 polling places of a total of 134 polling places constituting 71.64%. Boyka Joseph N. UP. Votes obtained 12,813 constituting 44.65%. George Manawia, CBC. 11,996 votes obtained, constituting 41.81%. Alberton Junior Edward WGDM votes obtained 766, constituting 2.67%. Those are the votes from Bakulu County. Now we read those from Grand Bassa County. 93 polling places of a total of 405 polling places, constituting 22.96%. We are George Manor CDC, 10,789, constituting 42.68%. Boyka Joseph N. U. P. Votes obtained 9,894, constituting 39.14%. Cummings Alexander B. C. P. P. Votes obtained 1,251, constituting 4.95%. Those were the votes from Grand Vassar County and now present votes from Grand Gina County. 36 polling places of a total of 163 polling places constituting 22.09%. George Manawia, CDC, 8,228 constituting 78.22%. Boyka Joseph N. UP, votes obtained 1,128, constituting 10.72%.
Appleton Junior Airport W GDM votes of team 271 constituting 2.58 percent. Those were votes from Grand Chibet County. I now read you votes from Grand Crew County. 23 polling places of the total of 110 polling places constituting 20.91 percent. George Manawia CDC 5,508 constituting 80.13 percent. Boyka Joseph N. UP votes obtained 444 constituting 6.43 percent. Alberton Junior Airport W GDM votes obtained 235 constituting 3.42 percent. Those were the votes of 156 polling places from a total of 424 polling places constituting 36.79 percent. Boyka Joseph N. UP gained 12,426, constituting 26.71 percent. Kamara Senior Lucini F. Alka, vote of D, 2,944, constituting 6.33 percent. Those were the votes for the president of Lofa County. I now read you votes from Mark B. County of 49 polling places, a total of 441 polling places, constituting 11.11%. Boyka Joseph N. UP, votes obtained 6,962, constituting 47.40%. George Manamia, CDC. Votes obtained 5,915, constituting for 40.27%. Alberton Junior Ever W. GDM. Votes obtained 373, constituting 2.54%. That was Mark E. County, and now read votes from Maryland County of 49 polling places of a total of 175 polling places constituting 28.00%. George Manner, we are CDC, 11,056 constituting 71.99%. Boyka Joseph N. UP votes obtained 2,333, constituting 15.19 percent. Alberton Junior Edward W. GDM votes obtained 443, constituting 2.88 percent. Those were the votes. From Maryland County for the presidency, I now read votes from Montserrado County of 504 polling places, of a total of 2,008 polling places, constituting 25.10%. George Manabuya, CDC, 86,812 constituting 49.63%. Boyka Joseph N. UP votes of D, 77,001, constituting 44.02%. Kamara Senior Lucini F. Alka votes of D, 3,128, constituting 1.79%. Those were the votes for President 
from Montserrado County, and now read you the vote from Nimba County. 140 uh, places of a total of 736 polling places, constituting 25.82%. Boyka Joseph N. UP votes obtained 33,857, constituting 55.99%. George Manawia, CDC, votes obtained 12,369, constituting 20.46%. Gonglo Tiamose, LPP, votes obtained 7,476, constituting 12.36%. Those were the votes for president from Nimba County. I now read you the votes from Riverside County. 40 polling places of a total of 105 polling places, constituting 38.10%. George Manawia, CDC, votes obtained 5,957 constituting 55.57%. Boyka Joseph N. U.P. votes obtained 3,208, constituting 29.93%. Alberton Jr. Edward W.G.D.M. votes obtained 377 Percentage 3.52. Those were the votes from Riverside County and our reading votes from River G. 42 polling places of a total of 98 polling places, constituting 42.86%. George Manangria, CDC, 8,790 constituting 67.94%. Boyka Joseph N. U.P. votes obtained 2,616, constituting 20.22%.